Hello everyone, this is meteorologist John Keyes with your forecast leading up through the eclipse. Dry weather will return for the rest of this week after we get a few showers and thunderstorms out of the way this afternoon. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to deal with timing issues as we head into Sunday and Monday. Showers and thunderstorms are certainly possible. Even if we don't have showers and thunderstorms, we will have clouds. Looking for the timing and the break of those clouds will be key at this point for viewing the eclipse. That's going to change, obviously, between now and then, but that's at least what it looks like for today. As we go through the forecast this afternoon, we do have some showers developing across the area, and those showers will be most numerous, and we're not talking a bunch, but the best chance is going to be over the Central Mountains, Sun Valley, up through around Mackey, over towards the uh, Yellowstone, West Yellowstone area. And by the time we get to late this afternoon, early this evening, those showers and thunderstorms will be dying out. We're not expecting a whole lot, just a brief chance of rain, maybe a little bit of wind as well. We're not expecting any major thunderstorm activity across the area today. Now, going into the overnight hours, it's pretty darn clear out there. We won't see anything redeveloping until we get till tomorrow afternoon. Here we are by about one, just a few thunderstorms developing over the central mountains and the chance less than 10%. And sometimes on these high resolution models, it thinks it's a thunderstorm and it's just a bunch of cumulus clouds developing. So that very well may be the case. But as we go through the evening hours tomorrow, by the time we get to around midnight, things should be clearing out. And that's going to be the trend until we get to the latter half of the weekend. How does a pattern look starting Thursday across the area? You'll notice that northwest flow, we still may be looking for some smoke coming in from the fires from the north and west. But you notice it's dry as a bone across our area. And that trend continues into Friday. By the time we get to Saturday morning, can't rule out a shower along the Utah or Boulder, but the main function that we're looking at is that storm developing over along the coastal areas. That's going to start pumping the monsoon moisture in by the time we get into Sunday. And by the time we get into Sunday afternoon, we do have showers and thunderstorms developing. Where they're going to develop now, we're not 100% sure, but the key is those showers and thunderstorms, clouds moving in. And the trend continues into Monday afternoon. Here we are at the noon hour, just after totality. You can see there's probably some showers around, some clouds around the area. And like we said, it's all about the timing by the time we get to that point. And by the time we get into Tuesday, that storm actually moves through. And that's where we're going to probably see a better chance of showers and thunderstorms. Temperature-wise, over the next several days, we're going to see some cool nights and some warm afternoons. But look at that. Still looking at 70s for highs this afternoon. By the time we get into tomorrow, some of the mountainous areas in the mid-30s. So if you're camping out, you might want to take a blanket or a jacket just in case you get a little cold overnight. Temperatures warming into the 70s in the mountains, low to mid-80s across the lower elevations. By the time we get into Thursday, temperatures continue to warm up. But with those dry conditions in the area, it's going to be some chilly nights if you get into the mid and upper elevations. And that trend continues all the way into Sunday, Monday. Just a little bit cooler, and that's because we're expecting those clouds. Again, things are a little bit iffy at this point. Just stay tuned to us. We'll have the latest forecast every day as we head through the eclipse. If you want more weather information, weather.gov slash Pocatello, or if you're following us on social media, NWS Pocatello is the place to go.